someone writes, you say in a blog post that the most quoted verse these days is judge not. Can you give some insight into this verse? How do we know if we're judging correctly or not? Great question. We go back to this verse in uh, Matthew chapter 7 where Jesus says, Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Okay, so clearly here is Jesus saying, don't judge. But context is king when we're interpreting Scripture. What does this mean? Well, he goes right on to say, how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when at the same time there's a plank in your eye? Then he says, you hypocrite, first take out the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. So clearly judge not does not mean you can't see a speck in your brother's eye, or that seeing it you have no responsibility to help your brother remove it. On the contrary, he's saying, see that speck in his eye, but take the log out of your eye. So now you can help him. We are to help each other. That requires a certain amount of you know, discernment. So judge not doesn't mean don't discern. Then he says in the very next verse, do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. Okay, well, this requires discernment. And not even getting into the meaning of that verse, clearly it requires that we uh, see uh, that a person can be acting like a pig and that there are certain things that we need to be careful not to put in front of them. So right in the immediate context of judge not, you have with great clarity we are still to discern. We are not to go around condemning people, but at the same time, we're to recognize what God says in His Word. And if God says in His Word that adultery is a sin, and He clearly does, I am not being judgmental if I look at a person committing adultery and conclude that they are sinning. I'm just simply believing what Scripture says. Now, I need to, if I have a relationship with that person, go to them and say, you know what, what you're doing is not right. God is not pleased with this. God is going to judge you for it. Now, you say, but that's condemning them. That's judging them. No, that's just believing what God has said is true and then trying to help the person because sin is in no one's best interest. Sometimes we act as if, oh, we should look the other way and just let people go on with their sins, our friends, our family members, and we should never say anything about it. Well, that's not good for them. Sin is not good for us. Righteousness is good for us. Holiness is good for us. And it's good for our brothers. So, judge not, yet use discernment.